So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. There's a call in the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest Premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here. It is a Monday night show of a game week, a game that will be Thursday night, volleyball Wednesday night, football on Thursday night. 402 413 2400. Let's head to the phones. Jim and North Platte, you're up first tonight. Good evening, Jim. Well, good evening to you both. First of all, I'd like to make a comment. Even my comment is if Nebraska wins six or seven ball games and gets to a bowl game, I'll be very satisfied with that. And because we haven't been to a bowl game seven or eight years. And my next question is why did they change the scheduling round over the last 70 or 80 years? We have played the first three or four games at home, and my disappointment is why are they letting alcohol be <laughs> sold in the stadium? Thank you. Go right. Big Red. Go right, Big Jim. Red. All right, Jim, thanks for the phone call. The alcohol is just for the volleyball event because of the concert afterwards. Not going to be for any of the football games for the rest of the fall. And TV, Jim, is dictating a lot of these schedule changes, and you're right. I. I mean, this will be the fourth straight year Nebraska's opened on the road. It sure would be nice. And next year we are scheduled to be at home. In fact, I think our first three games will be at home in 2024. But, yeah, it's been tough. We all certainly realize that it's hard, particularly with the new coaching staff, to get off to a good start if you're having to play road games right out of the gate. But Matt Rule's not going to let that be an excuse. Let's go try to take care of business and get it done. No, and, and they're they're going to embrace whatever challenge, whatever schedule is in front of them, right? I mean, it's part of what you sign up for when you play in a conference like the Big Ten. But the only thing that I have a little bit of an issue with is you don't get a home game in one of the two games, and then also it's a new staff. But how, how – this schedule is made before we knew that there was going to be a new staff. Exactly. So it's yeah. not like you can plan around, oh, well, right. that's not really fair. But, you know, that was in – plan was in place long before we knew that there was going to be a new staff going into this season. The only thing would be, yeah, and then not every other Big Ten team also has to open up with conference games either, but Nebraska does, yeah. has had to. Three conference matchups in the opening weekend, Ohio State at Indiana, Rutgers hosting Northwestern, and then Nebraska's game with Minnesota. Well, he's back, sideline slice with Searles, the weekly podcast during the football season. Jessica and Jeremiah started with this one, it's already now up on our podcast platforms. Ophers, you've been out to a couple practices. What were your big takeaways? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing that I'm going to take away from looking at this from spring ball into training camp, and now what I'm going to be looking for as we head into week one, you know, is just the flow of which this team practices and the flow of which they want to play. Right, and I think that's going to be tempo, smash mouth, and on defense, just create chaos and havoc. Right, just continue to throw different things at them as an offense. Continue to just try and make Jeff Sims be a, a weapon with his legs. You know, I'm as much curious to see what this offense for the Huskers looks like as I am the defense. You know, but for me, I think that's a good thing because that means Minnesota is wondering the same thing too. And, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of power running game from our backs because we've talked about it a lot in this offseason. I think the running back room is the strength of this offense right now. You know, and you pair that with a veteran offensive line and getting guys back, and hopefully Teddy can be back. Hopefully we'll get some guys back that can be road graders and go up there. And whenever you open on the road, you've got to open with a physical presence because there's going to be all kinds of chaos that's going on, everyone learning how to go through the flow of a game. You want to make sure you can go back, rely on your physicality, your ability to run the football and you're going to have to go 
toe-to-toe -to -toe with Minnesota, who all they want to do is run the football. So we'll, we'll know a little bit more about this when this thing gets kicked off. But one of the things that's kind of hindered this team in these close games is the mental mistakes and not keeping the pedal to the metal, right, and, the, and being disciplined and, and all of that. And, and all things that Matt Rule and his coaching staff have hung their hat on for years and years. How have you seen that? How much do you feel good about that regard and, and this team being more improved in that of, of eliminating more of those mental mistakes and being disciplined in those critical moments? Yeah, you know, it's something that Coach Rule has harped on at every practice I've been to. I've heard him talk about it in almost every single press conference he's been in. You know, he understands that the margin for winning in a football game is razor thin. And that mental errors and unforced penalties and little things like that that happen in the first quarter, they compound and they add up to losing games in the fourth quarter. And so, you know, that's been a thing that he's been very, very passionate about talking with. And that flows over into your team. And, you know, I saw an interview that he had where he was talking about, like, hey, Matt Rule, how long does it take for you to flip this thing around? He's like, well, if it's Matt Rule's team, it takes two to three years. You know, but he was like, if these juniors and seniors take control of this team, like, we could be really special and compete this year. And I think that's a great point. You know, he has installed what he believes is his culture. It's now up to the juniors and the seniors of this team that have bought into this culture to now cultivate it and to grow it and to show the young guys. And if they can do that quickly, and that's by playing football the right way, playing smart football, not taking dumb penalties, leading when things go through adversity, if they can do that, I really do think this football team has a chance to win some good games this year. So on that note, on those juniors and seniors that you're referring to, uh, those single digits have been handed out, uh, still waiting on a few more. It might drop by the time we drop this podcast. But, Probably. you know, but three, three linebackers, I mean, the linebackers – have really taken over those single-digit numbers. I mean, you look at Nick Henrich, Luke Reimer, John Bullock. Uh, what, what's your takeaway on that? And then Big Nash wearing zero. You got to love that. But the fact that you know a lot of those are defensive players, and then th that linebacking core, which when you're talking about that culture and making sure that things are going right on the football field, a lot of it is going to be probably relying on those linebackers. Yeah, I mean, you talk about the quarterback of the defense. It's the linebacking crew. And we've talked about it a lot, too, through the offseason as well. That's the strength of this defense, right? You look at who has the most play time, who has the most TFLs, who has the most production. Like, it's the linebacking group. They played together. You talk about Henrich and Reimer playing in there together for so many games. And, you know, Bullock in there coming in as being the guy to step up into that new role. And then even we haven't even talked about MJ Sherman, Chief Borders. Like there's so many names in that linebacking room that I'm so excited to see in which ways Tony White's going to allow them to contribute and allow them to blitz and allow them to drop into coverage and do all kinds of things. That's a great room. And I love the new, I love the single digit tradition that he's bringing here. I think it's great when you have your own peers voted on something, right? It's not from the coaches. It's not so the media thinks, oh, this guy's going to be good, right? When you earn a, a captain vote or you earn something on a team that is voted on by your peers, that's the greatest honor you can get as a player. Like nothing else, the All-American, all that stuff is great. But when you have a group of over 100 guys that all vote and say, no, you have done things right. I want to play like you. I want to contribute like you. That's the greatest honor you can get. So all those guys, well, I mean, super proud of all those guys. I'm super excited for all them. And, yeah, that might be the biggest number zero jersey that's ever been made <laughs> at the University of Nebraska. <laughs> I think he had to wear a large. They had to get him a bigger size, the, the zero that yeah. he had on. They don't, like they don't usually make zeros in 3XLs. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a common thing that's made here. <laughs> hey, you're going up to Minnesota. You love going up there. That's one of your favorite I'll, cities. I love Minneapolis. Yeah, I get a chance to, my wife and I are going up on the booster trip. Coach uh, Brendan Stye is bringing us up. Coach you know, Brendan Stye? He was my coach. You have to remember, he was a coach for me. Like, it's hard for me. Whenever someone was a coach in my life, it's hard for me not to put coach in front of their name. Or else I feel like I'm going to get yelled at. Um, but, yeah, Coach Stai, um invited myself and Emma. We're going to come up on the booster trip, fly up and talk with the boosters, present, kind of show some X's and O's what I think this team's going to be. And they get a chance to go back into the stadium where I started my Viking career and where I've repped some players out of. And I have a lot of respect for that gopher program. Um, I have a lot of respect for the way they play football, but I'm also so I do love Minneapolis. I love any time I can get up there. Well, big reason why you have a lot of respect for that program is because what they do on the offensive line, mm -hmm. which you've maintained and been a pretty big fan of, I think, since we've started this podcast. So what is it about the way that they do things up front that um, continues to allow for them to do what they do? You know, I think what's – you never hear, like, big transfers in, big transfers out from Minnesota. They've grown that offensive line in-house internally. And they have year after year guys that have been in their system, been in their weight program, 
been developed that now are plugging into starters. Right, you know, two years ago they lost four starters and they only had their center that came back and they didn't miss a beat. Right, and this year I think they only lost two starters on that offensive line from last year. And so I'll be curious to see how they fill those roles. But the scheme in which they run, they just need big bodies that run laterally and play assignment football. And they've had really good backs in the past that have known how to work with that and do well. And their offense is arguably the most boring offense in the country to watch, but they're effective, right? I think back to the Denzel Washington quote from uh, Remember the Titans. It was like, just like Novocaine, just give it enough time, it always works, right? And that's what they do. They just run mid-zone, mid-zone, mid-zone over and over again, and then they play action and a pop pass. Like, it's not a simple – it's not an – it's not an extravagant formula. It's very simple, but they're very good at doing it, and they execute it at a very high level, and they limit possessions, right? They limit possessions so that if they can get a lead, it's really hard for an offense of the opposing team to get the ball back and score two touchdowns or three scores in the second half just with the style of football that they play. When we were talking about um, Cali Manis and him being more of a runner and not being as consistent throwing the football, but Chris Altman, Altman Bell is back. So you got to think they're going to try to get go to the air a little bit to get him the ball, right? You would think, uh, but a lot of it's not going to be what you think. It's not going to be the long post routes or, excuse me, the long nine routes. I think it's, it's so much RPO, mm -hmm. right? They want to say, hey, can I get a slant into this dude's hand, an eight-yard slant, and can he make the safety miss and make it a 20-yard run or, you know, a screen pass on the outside? He's so dynamic with the ball in his hand that – I don't think they're going to say, hey, we're just going to line up and run different route tree combinations. It's going to be a lot of RPO, quick passes, make him create with yards after the catch. But, again, he's a guy that he'll send deep on play action. Right? He might only have two or three deep, ball, deep balls a game, but all those are going to be off play action, try and catch the safeties with their nose in the backfield and see if he can't get behind them. You know? And so when you have one receiver, which they always seem to have one receiver that can do that, but you know, the guy that we really need to look out for is arguably one of the best tight ends in the country is Brevin Spanford. He's a great tight end for them. He's like six foot seven, very Austin Allen y type of height. But he's a guy that's going to be a day two pick probably for the Minnesota Gophers this year at the tight end position. And he's a guy, too, you talk about being able to block, be able to leak out in routes and catch the ball over the middle. He's a guy we're going to have to keep an eye out for as well. All right, let's, let's flip things over to the other side and, and talk about the Nebraska offense. I mean, it's, it's just this is the one area we don't know as much about until we, we see them run out right. there. But um, I guess what, what are the big things that you're going to be looking for out of this Husker offense in game one? The biggest thing is I want to just I want to make sure that they just run smoothly. Right. I don't want to see guys run in and out of the huddle because we have the wrong personnel or pre-snap penalties or, you know, operation is something that I'm going to be paying very close attention to. How do they operate and do they operate efficiently? You know, the other thing is Matt Rule's talked about it since he got here. We're going to run the football. Right. Are we going to stay committed to running the football? Right. In the first, second quarter, if things aren't going well, are we going to come out in the third quarter and abandon it? Or are we going to stick with it? Right. And I want to see these backs get in a rhythm, get in a groove. But, you know, because also our wide receiver right now is pretty limited on depth. Right. We have Billy Kemp. We have some other guys out there, but there's no there's no Palmer to take the deep end off, you know, with Betts being gone, you know, so who's going to step up there? I do think we're going to rely a lot, and I want to see us rely a lot on the inside run game and the zone read game, allowing Sims and Irvin and Grant and Ramir and all those guys to really be the heartbeat and what propels this offense to being successful. All right, so we do this every time. If you're a first-time listener, give me a couple players to watch offense, defense. Yeah, I mean, obviously on offense, it's going to be Jeff Sims. It's got to see how we, we went out. We got a big-name transfer. He's now the quarterback, starting quarterback, got voted single-digit number. Like, how does he operate on a hostile environment, home opener for the Gophers on Thursday night, only show on turf? You know, a lot of eyes are going to be glued into that. How does he operate? Um, another guy on offense is Billy Kemp. You know, another transfer, guys that we don't know a lot about, right? As Husker Nation, we haven't seen them wearing the scarlet and cream besides the spring game, which was – the spring game right so how are those guys going to go and are they main contributors for us this year and then on defense you know ty robinson had a great game against the gophers last year against john michael schmitz who was the best center in the in college football last year you know he had a great game last year he's gonna have to show up in a big way to stop this run game you know and then i really i'm excited to see mj sherman and chief borders i'm excited to see what kind of physicality those guys bring to the linebacker position the outside linebacker position and can they get home can they get to the quarterback right we need someone that's going to show us that week in and week out we can rely on them to finish at the quarterback with sacks hits hurries those type of things i think those guys can bring that type of 
mentality and that type of production to this defense that we desperately need. Okay, so two biggest keys for the Huskers to leave Minneapolis with a win in the season opener. Number one, stop the run of the Gophers, right? Get them off schedule. We can't allow them to just go four yards, four yards, four yards, and just die a slow death on defense. We have to find ways to create negative plays, get them behind the sticks, and put them in obvious passing situations that they don't want to be in. And then I think a big thing, too, is going to be special teams. Flipping the field. I know it's usually a November thing of like, hey, we got to make sure we have field position. But when you're playing the Gophers, field position is huge, right? Because the way, the style that they want to play football, we got to make sure that they have a long way to go on offense and then give our offense a chance for some short fields. So an explosive return or making sure we make all our kicks, points will be at a premium. You know, I think special teams is a big thing there. And then the last thing, which is always and forever, is turnovers. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. We will live and die by that. You know, the ball is everything, I believe, is the thing I keep reading everywhere I'm around there, right? So finding a way to get the ball taken out of the offense's hands over there and making sure as an offense we have zero turnovers, right? That'd be a big win for us if we can come out of a game, season opener, new coach, new quarterback, all those things. Zero turnovers, that would be a massive win for us. Again, that was a portion of the latest Sideline Slice with Searles, episode number one of the 2023 season, brought to you by our friends at Valentino's Pizza. And you can listen to the full episode out now. No better breakdown than Jeremiah Searles. He, and he knows a lot about Minnesota. Because, yeah, I mean, he lived up there and played up there and loves the city. And he's going to be up there, too. You heard him calling Coach. Coach Brendan Co Stey. Coach Stey is taking me on the booster plane. I think from here on out, every time I see Brendan, I'm going to call him Coach, Coach Stey. Stey. Yeah. <laughs> no, Jeremiah really enjoyed his time in Minneapolis with the Vikings. Had he a loves good, Minneapolis. Good little career yeah. there. I like that town a lot. It is the winners. Ooh, couldn't do the winners up there. Good stuff. Always loved hearing from Jeremiah. 402-413-2400. That's the number to be a part of the program with a call or a text. That's our Woodhouse Auto family. They are your trusted auto partner with 20 brands, 20 convenient Sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. More of the show coming up. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months plus up to 37.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Hi, I'm a volleyball. It's an okay life. I go back and forth about it. But I really wish I was a Nebraska Lottery Powerball or Mega Millions Mega Ball. See, all they have to do is mix around in a big plastic bubble and roll down a ramp and then people win millions. What a great life. As for me, I get thrown around all day and have to worry about getting spiked, which is about to happen right now. Oh, ow! Couldn't you just do a nice, gentle tip? The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Today we have two very special guests on our program, introducing Lemon hey. and Lime Hello. for new Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Thanks for having us. What is Starry Lemon Lime Soda? It's a crisp, clear burst of lemon lime flavor, and it's caffeine-free. Between us, one of you must be a little more important to Starry than the other. Who is it? We're both important. So we could just as easily be Starry Lime Lemon Soda. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, I like it. So you saying hip-hop could be hop hip. Works for me. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Starry hits different. Deer roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tame and 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. 
All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the trail taming 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Folks, if problem gambling is burning up your money, there is a way out. Help is free and confidential for Nebraskans and their families. There's no judgment. Just help visit lifeafterbet.com. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on Sports Highly on a Monday night. A couple of texts have come in. John at Omaha says, from what I understand, a player can lose their black shirt. Can they also lose their single digits? I don't believe so. I think that's a preseason vote that sticks for the season. I you think? Oh, I don't. I think I don't. Think no, the single digits are, are there to yeah. stick. I mean, that was uh, something that the team voted on, and that's what Coach Rule said. I didn't pick those. The coaching staff yeah. didn't pick those. The team picked those. Those are now just because they got a single digit this season doesn't mean they're going to get one next season. But I think the black shirts will rotate, and we'll see guys get them, add them, all of that. But the single digits are not changing. Okay, very good. Carol wants to say, ask about the volleyball match. Would there be a ruling such as a high volleyball that gets caught in the breeze or wind, blows back out of range or back over the net? Would that be a point or would they play it over? No, no, that, no that'd be a point. I mean, you got to battle the elements. And this was Jessica's point about that's what you deal with beach season sometimes is the ball. But you, you got to play it as it is. So there's no, hey, the wind took that and blew it back in or out of play. That doesn't matter. Yeah, and, and you know, it's not like... 
the other teams are going to be dealing with it too, right? And it's all part of the experience and getting to, to do this and be a part of this. And so, I mean, and that's what uh, Lindsey Peterson said today is that it's probably not going to be pretty. It might, and, and they've talked to the team about that. Hey, it might take a little while to get a feel for it, and it might not look exactly pretty how we're used to seeing it, but we got to be able to roll with it and not get caught up in it and let – let it compound into multiple mistakes. You, you got to be able to understand that there are going to be some elements that we're dealing with that we're not used to being used to dealing with. We, we've got to be able to work through those and still put forth a good product and, and work through the things that we still need to work through because it's still a volleyball match right. that they need to win and yep. they need to get on the schedule. Dennis wants to know, is JB going to be back from his family emergency? That's the plan, Dennis. We hope so. JB's dealing with a, an issue with his family. He said he thinks he'll be fine to call the match on Wednesday night. Thanks to Matt Cotney for stepping in last second yesterday to do that. Mike and Grand Island, new quarterback, new transfer center. Scott, supposed to be a stud. I think that could be a key along with maybe Teddy Prohaska coming back. Pound the rock, fullback at least five times per game. Well, I think running the football is a big part of what Matt Rule, Marcus Satterfield want to do. I don't know about Teddy. It probably is a little premature to think that he could play yet, but hopefully you get him back the next couple of weeks. And do not rush him back. I mean, no, for no, as no. much as we've seen him be a little injury prone, let's not push it. At this point, they've gone through almost the entire camp without him yeah. being consistently in that starting spot. Let him get some time to get work back in slowly. Don't just throw him in there. I think... I don't think that's something that they, they want to do or are planning on doing. But when he does get back, yes, I do think he, he adds a big big part to that offensive line. Good. But then do you keep Teddy there and move Turner back? I think you could play around with that, depending on how guys are doing. I mean, yeah. if, if it's working, I don't think you mess with it. But if you're getting less performance somewhere else, yeah, I think you mix and match. I just didn't know if you'd put Teddy at right tackle and leave Teddy at left, or t uh, Turner at left. I think he's more of a left. I think yeah. Teddy's more of a left. So that's a great question for the next sideline slides. Yeah, I should have asked him. I think I might have asked him at some point, maybe off the air, what, what they would do with that. But I don't think they're ready to probably put Teddy back in yet full time. So they're still probably full yeah. speed ahead with Turner at left tackle. Love the questions, folks. Keep them coming. Hey, buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Back to wrap up hour one next. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months plus up to $37.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker pride, powered locally. There are a lot of rates out there, and it can be tough to find the right one. Well, let's make it easy. With FNBO's special offer CD of 5.5% APY for 7 or 17 months, you can earn more, save more, and do more. That's 5.5% annual percentage yield for 7 or 17 months at your nearest FNBO location with a minimum deposit of $500 and an FNBO Premier Checking Account. So stop on by and give your savings a great big boost with the Great Big Small Bank. FNBO, member FDIC. Calling all Husker fans. Woodhouse Auto Family is thrilled to be a sponsor of Volleyball Day in Nebraska. And to share the excitement, we're giving you a chance to win tickets. As the official auto dealer of Nebraska Athletics, Woodhouse takes great pride in supporting the Huskers and the passionate Nebraska fan base. And we want to see you in the sea of red at Volleyball Day in Nebraska. To enter for a chance to win tickets to the event and learn more, visit woodhouse.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. 
Dine in at Wahlburgers at High V and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. Is your garbage disposal not disposing? You had one job. Drains backing up can cause a horrible smell in a home, damaged pipes, and so much more. Some signs that your garbage disposal may be going out include frequent clogs, abnormal and louder noises than normal, or water is leaking from the bottom, just to name a few. John Henry's is here to take care of all the pipes and drains in your home. Call today. 435-5555. John Henry's Plumbing. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest. Premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you. Just a couple minutes left here in hour one of our program tonight. A couple more texts have come in. A corn husker over in Iowa. What do you expect to see from the tight ends Thursday night? I expect a lot. I mean, I don't know how much. We'll see them. I think they'll be involved in the offense a lot. I agree. Whether that's blocking, catching, I, I think you'll see. I don't know if you'll see them haul in 100 yards receiving, but I do think they'll be heavily involved in this offense. And I think you'll see, what, two or three of them in the rotation and then throw in the fullback and H back into that rotation, if you want to call that that room. Would you, be- would you consider that? I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I know it's do, all what different. With, what do you do with Bonner? You count him as a tight end? I think sometimes you might. Well, he's going to catch the football. So yes, he is. To me, he's more in that room. It's just, you know, at, um, at Oklahoma, Lincoln Riley called it the H-back, and it wasn't really the fullback. And so, I don't know. I mean, it would – I feel like you got a guy that probably could lean towards more towards the tight end room. But I don't know if you want to count them or not, but I think you're going to see a heavy dose of – all those guys. Greg Sharp's over under for targets for the tight end. I'm going to put it at six. That's a good. That's a good. I was thinking. And I might take the over, but I'll put it at six. Yeah, because I targets, think. Not catches, just targets. I think 10's a little high. Me too. You know, so I, I like that. I like that. Might might say seven, depending on if something starts working, but I think that's a good good spot to start. Doug in Norfolk, will there be some kind of wind shields up for the volleyball match? Nope. You, I mean, you can't. You can't struck people's view, so no no windshields up for Wednesday night's match. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales, and service locations. We are making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. One hour down, one to go on a Monday. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! SOS to the rescue! SOS to the rescue! As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue! SOS!
Good evening. I'm Jake Schrantz, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, Nebraska football defensive coordinator Tony White spoke to the media. One point he talked about was how some of the newly assigned black shirts for the Huskers may impact special teams this season. Yeah, I mean, special teams, those guys, I mean, I, I joke around, but those guys are in defensive jerseys. I, I, uh, you know, on the Coach Foley, uh, the last the last scrimmage we had made sure that the nets, the kicking nets were on the defensive side of the field because that's their defense. You know what I mean? So uh, that's a huge emphasis on our side of the ball. So it, it's funny because Coach was talking about the last couple of spots on the, on the trial roster and talking about the importance of who else is on those special teams, who else can run down there if you have an injury or something like that. And, and literally just made the decision uh, a couple of moments ago, you know, so it's a, it's a huge deal. Yeah. We'll hear more from Coach White as well as special teams coordinator Ed Foley later in the show. Husker volleyball moved up one spot in the most recent AVCA rankings. Nebraska is now one of three Big Ten teams ranked inside the top five as they join top-ranked Wisconsin and fifth-ranked Minnesota among the elites of college volleyball. Staying with Oscar Volleyball, freshman outside hitter Harper Murray won Big Ten Freshman of the Week after dominating during the Emeritus Players Challenge this weekend. The Michigan native averaged 3.67 kills per set with a 343 hitting percentage as the Huskers started the 2023 season undefeated. Nebraska will continue their season this Wednesday against Omaha live from Memorial Stadium. You can listen to that match and all the matches for the rest of the season right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Last night, Huskers basketball player Keisei Tomonaga helped lead the Japan basketball team to a victory over Finland in the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Tomonaga made four of seven threes and finished with 17 points and three steals in 18 minutes of play as Japan completed the biggest comeback of the 2023 tournament so far. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Huskers student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Up next, Hour 2 of Huskers Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Two to the near side, one to the far side. Turn, give it off to Grant. He picks his way inside the 45, bounces to the outside. 40, 35, 30, foot race now. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Snap back to Van Trees. Play actions. Gets hit as he throws. Pass to hit it down the end zone. Buford goes up and makes the interception at the one-yard line. Marquise Buford's second pick of the game, and it was created by some pressure on the quarterback, Van Trees. Red, fed left. Lindsay gets a throw. They stay with it, and Krause muscles it through a double Buckeye block. Becca Williams, Spring Lake, Texas, serves back right. Nice pass, quick attack. Becca, Alec, big red, kaboom. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Yeah, we're back. Hour two, Monday night, Sports Island here on a game week. Oh, boy, it feels good to be able to say that as we hit the last couple of days of the month of August. Busy week. We'll have our football show tomorrow night. Running backs coach E.J. Barthel will join us in hour one of the program. Obviously, no show Wednesday because of the volleyball match inside the stadium. No show Thursday because we're on the air with pregame and then the game on Thursday night. But we'll have a full two hours for you on Friday night to recap the game. And we got to make some picks. You ready to make some picks? I'm ready. Jeremiah has talked his way back on. Yes, he, he's back. I don't know. We'll see how often he actually joins or if he'll just text you in. But I'll bet he's, but he gets the weeks that he does really well, he'll want to make sure that he's a oh, part yeah. of the show. Sure he will. Yeah. By the way, I watched the Manziel doc. Crazy, right? Really? I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's just kooky. The guy was kooky, it but it, I enjoyed it. Bonkers, all this stuff. I mean, and, and you and I have talked about this, but just the, the way that back then, because I was the same year that the whole Manti Teo, Manti Teo, Johnny Manziel were both Heisman right. finalists. And the way that the, the stories that unfolded that weren't truthful, like the fact that Johnny Manziel had all this money from his family, that's why he was able to fly on all these jets when actually he was getting it illegally. Yeah. And then with Manti Teo's story, like it just was pretty crazy the way that two of the biggest storylines were not really false and, and fact-checked by media. And so, um, but yeah, it's wild some of the things that you learn about how he operated and, and got away from and that it's not really a surprise that... It didn't work out in the NFL. Well, then his buddy, 
They don't even talk. I know. Don't yeah. even talk anymore. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. It's well worth your time, Jeremiah. Uh, 402-413-2400. <laughs> That's the number if you want to be a part of the program with a caller. Tech, let's go to the phones. Tim, up in Minnesota. We're headed your way, Tim, in a couple days. Oh. Tim, you with us? Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll put him back on hold, see if we can Greg. Go. Oh, there we go. Hello, buddy. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I was saying that, uh, look, maybe I should get, get off speaker here. Um, I am actually going to be there. Don't know if I'll be able to actually see you since there's not the thing that happened the last couple of years, and I'm not going to be able to make the alum thing, which is a bummer, but I plan on, be, plan on being there this year. Good. Well, you may make your way and, down toward the field. You can probably holler at Jessica. Okay, cool. Yeah, that'd be. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I, I think I'm kind of high up, but I guess we'll just see. I'm just glad to be there. Um, I do have a uh, two two other things quick. Um, about I heard what Jeremiah was saying about the play action and how well are we posed to be disciplined on that because it's. Uh, you know, it's going to be a tricky thing. You know, you want, like I've been hearing, you know, the last couple of days or week, you know, we want the guys to be, you know, go up and make plays on the run, but you don't want to bite on that play action. That's the one, that's one thing. And I apologize for missing uh, um, rating Cole's joke, but I do, I did hear it and I do have a ranking and I might just text it um, on another, on another day when he's there. You didn't like it then. You didn't like it. Oh, oh, I did. Oh, good. Well, say but, it then. Uh, Tell us what you got. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, well, I just want him to hear it. Uh, he, he's, uh, off but, to, yeah. he's off tonight, so you may have to wait to text tomorrow night so he can see it tomorrow. Yeah, but, well, I guess I could tell, I can tell you, I'm, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Nice. I like I, it. I think that's, that was kind of consensus. So. Yeah, he got a good rating last week. All right, Tim, good yeah. to hear from well, you. Well, hopefully we'll. Thanks. And come down and give Jessica a wave when you're in, in the stands there at Huntington Bank Stadium on Thursday night. I talked to quite a few people that are going that I'm saying, hey, yeah. come give us a holler Sold down there. Sold out. Yeah. Sold out crowd. My dad and brother are coming up to the volleyball game, and they're going to get up and drive up to Minnesota. Are they staying for the concert, or are they going to bolt for the concert? Uh, they'll probably stay for a little bit, and then I think they're going to get up and drive in the morning to Minnesota. Yeah, you could leave by... Eight in, the, eight in the morning, make it plenty of time. Yeah, so, so but they're, uh, yeah, the, I think Good. there's going to be quite a few. You think it's going to be about 60, 40? Mm, I no, mean, it won't, we won't have that much of the crowd. 70, 30? 70, 30, okay. probably, yeah, yeah. All right, Tony White, Ed Foley met with the media earlier today. That leads us into tonight's practice report. <laughs> The 1890 Initiative presents the Nebraska Football Practice Report. We're talking about practice. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. All right, the defensive coordinator and the special teams coordinator met with the media earlier today. They're practicing right now. Matt Rule is going to have a Wednesday night practice during the season. And, yes, Greg's not wacko. I know today's Monday, but on the football calendar with playing on Thursday, today is Wednesday. So the press conference took place middle of the afternoon. Tony White was asked about uh, trying to get the players to just understand the, the, the situation of the first game and maybe try to just make them not think too much in this opening game of the year. And... Uh... And it can always be better in terms of, of from the coaching staff in terms of teaching it. If there's an issue, uh, seeing it right away, getting the change for the game, or on my end, eliminating what what causes confusion. You know, so that that process is is still ongoing. I mean, today uh, we we put in some new things, tweak some stuff like that. But after a certain time, it's all about eliminating eliminating problems and letting them play fast. So that's still going on. New defense, I caution people, and I've tried to do this all weekend. New defense, you're going to probably have some, some mistakes made. There are going to be mistakes made, opening game of the year. But I do like what Coach White's teaching these guys. I think, that they're, I think they like playing in the system. I think they do, too. I mean, they just seem pretty giddy when they're talking about it, how much they enjoy it. And a lot of players that were here 
uh, or that they brought in, it really fits the style and, and has kind of allowed them to really turn loose and be more aggressive and um, had a great soundbite from, from Luke Reimer about, you know, the physicality of it and how much have we heard Coach Rule say that. But, you know, you if you're physical, a lot of times you can be in the right places even to make up for some of the, the things that maybe if you're not in the right place, a lot of times physicality will overcome some of those things and, and not overthinking about it. But, you know, I think that's where they're still real trying, trying to really get that in these guys' heads is play fast, play physical, and not try to be perfect. That's, that's the balance, I think, because a lot of times you're trying to do everything perfect and you're learning a new defense, but it's more about, hey, fly around and be physical, and a lot of things will take care of itself if you do that. Tim brought up the play-action fake. How do you protect against that? That's where you hope guys like Reimer and Gifford, who've played a lot of football, pick up on that and don't get sucked in and pick up a tendency. And, and I mean, that's what your veteran players, you have to hope, don't get fooled by some of those things. But, hey, it, it's why the other teams coach well, too. I mean, and there's going to be give and take in this, this game on Thursday night. Absolutely. I mean, and you just you got a, a couple of – quarterbacks that can use their feet yep so both it's not just nebraska that has to worry about that i mean minnesota is going to have to have a plan for that it's just not not fun to face and go up against a, a mobile quarterback guy that can use his feet but you know I, I think uh talking to a few people though it does sound like they might try to throw it a little bit more than what we're used to seeing I minnesota think i get that feeling too yeah they may be tempted because he's got a really good arm yeah that they and they like their wideouts and so, tight end i mean you just heard end. searles just raving about the tight end yeah. so for as much as what we've used to we're used to seeing about minnesota i think they've got a little bit of different personnel where it might not look exactly what we're used to seeing from Agreed. minnesota two new guys calling the plays for the gophers this year as well all right uh black shirts were handed out over the weekend as well tony white was asked what were the factors that led to deciding who got the black shirts? Yeah, consistency. You know, there's a lot of guys, again, deserving of, of the 11. But at that time when the decision was made, it was like, okay, well, who's been the most consistent guy? And, and like I said, Chief has, has stood out with his attitude and his effort. And, I, and again, that, that's the cool part is when you get to reward the effort part. You know, talent. Um, um, you, you, you kind of put that to the side because all these guys are talented. But when you get to when you get to highlight the effort and 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 things like that, the attitude, um, I think that that's that's a big deal around here. So it was cool that that he was able to go back and do that. And when we looked at the practices, who's playing physical who's playing physically the most consistent, who's running to the ball, who's all OU, all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying anybody else is, but he just had that one little little thing where you could see it on film. So it's like, all right, let's go. Let's roll with it. I can't wait to ask Chief about it because for somebody that just got here, he sure really loves him some Nebraska and the traditions here and being a part of this. So I'll bet it means... Is I think for some guys, it maybe takes a little while to really embrace it and understand it if you're not from here. But I think... For him, he's been so embedded in it and it loves it so much. I bet it meant a lot to him to see that black jersey. Awesome for him. All right, Ed Foley also talked to the media today, the Husker special teams coordinator. He was not, not going to announce the starting kicker. He's going to let Matt Rule do that tomorrow. Matt will meet with the media tomorrow afternoon. It's down to Tristan Alvano and Timmy Bleak Road, and he really didn't tip his hand about that at all. He was asked, you know, does that kind of a thing keep you up at night? And he said, no, not that. It's something else. I worry about everything. It's my job, part of my job. But, yeah, where, where this is with the first year for me is like 90% of what we're going to do is in, and we've been working on it. But that 10% of all the things that could happen on special teams um, is a lot of stuff. Like, there's a lot of situational football that you can maybe get a rep at, and there's going to be a couple things that we're probably not going to, but like try to do the best we can to get a, a look at, at what we're going to do. But some of those, some of those really uncommon special teams plays that um, happen very infrequently are hard to get worked on. Those are the things that keep me up at night. Everything keeps him up at night. <laughs> <laughs> but he's right. You can only, you can't anticipate every little thing that's going to happen in a football game. Instincts have to take over at some point in time. So. It's on the player sometimes to react to what they see because you can't practice every little thing. No, and you can overload, and you're, you're still talking about implementing a lot of new things for these guys with the, some new systems, so you can't. There's no way you can prepare for everything. You just can't. 
and there's you're going to see some wrinkles. You just got to be ready to roll with the punches and, and respond. And if you give a big play, you can't let it turn into several big plays. Right. You just got to get better for it and and you know respond and and lock down after that. But that's that's the game, right? It's part of the game planning. It's what makes this game so fun. Is that if it, everything's supposed to go, it's supposed to go, and you you could plan for everything. You wouldn't see the type of games that we normally see. So this allows for you, you're not going to be prepared for everything, but you got to be able to be able to run out there and and you know do what you need to do to to respond or uh, roll with the punches or like you said, take your let your instincts take over. One thing we really haven't talked much about is kickoff returns. It's going to be Johnson and Johnson, Emmett and Ramir are Love going that. to be back deep. You're going to have some fun with that. I'm going to. God, I, already, I already gave away one of my game secrets right there. <laughs> uh, here's Coach Foley talking about. Those two guys and how much confidence he has in them. Yeah, you know, Emmett, uh, both the Johnsons, Emmett and Ramirez, have done a really good job back there of catching it, making the decision of you know when to when to catch it, how to catch it, how to approach it. They, they track the ball well. Um, they both can run through things, and they're both fast enough to break away. Uh, they have good vision, so they're both you know they're both guys that can do it. I, I like that. I like that call, putting them back there. I think you and I both have seen them make some explosive plays that they have the ability to maybe break free a little bit, pick up some extra yards, but they're also not afraid. They're not going to be afraid to take a hit yeah. either. You know, neither one of those guys are not going to be running from the contact if they need to run through it or, or whatnot. So I, and I think both of them are pretty cerebral players and have a good feel for reading things. And so I like it. And, and then not to mention, they're both pretty speedy. They are. <laughs> so yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. Give them a little seam and they could bust a bit. I really thought last year Nebraska was going to get with Tommy Hill back there a couple times. I thought they were really going to bust one open and they came darn close a few times. So there's our practice report for tonight. Huskers again three days away from the opener up in Minneapolis. 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to be a part of the program. That is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. Woodhouse Auto Family, your trusted auto partner with 20 brands. 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back to talk more about Volleyball Day in Nebraska. So much work and effort has been put into pulling this huge event off at Memorial Stadium in just two days. We'll let you hear that conversation next. Only in Nebraska will you find a historic, record-breaking event like Nebraska Volleyball Day to honor women's athletics. The University of Nebraska Foundation invites you to be a part of Only in Nebraska, a campaign for our university's future. Another historic record-breaking effort to engage 150,000 donors to build the future Nebraska needs right now. It's all possible, and it's all happening here, Only in Nebraska. Give to support in you at onlyinnebraska.org. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Calling all Husker fans. Woodhouse Auto Family is thrilled to be a sponsor of Volleyball Day in Nebraska. And to share the excitement, we're giving you a chance to win tickets. As the official auto dealer of Nebraska Athletics, Woodhouse takes great pride in supporting the Huskers and the passionate Nebraska fan base. And we want to see you in the sea of red at Volleyball Day in Nebraska. To enter for a chance to win tickets to the event and learn more, visit woodhouse.com today. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. 
No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Spot less. Introducing the cleanup for tar spot, gray leaf spot, southern rust, and more. Novel next generation at Astrio fungicide broadens your spectrum and strengthens your residual when it comes to foliar disease control in corn. Visit your FMC retailer or at astrio.ag.fmc.com to clean up this season. Follow 2WE for tar spot management in corn. Valid until 131.28. Always read and follow all label directions. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right, get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. Dine in at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only, some restrictions apply. See store for details. There's a new kind of season ticket when you fly from the Lincoln Airport, the official airport of the Huskers. Now at LNK, choose from fast, affordable, non-stop flights to your favorite vacation spots. All from an airport that's relaxed and hassle-free. It's never been easier to get off the bench and enjoy an adventure with the whole family. Visit GoFlyLNK.com and book your trip today. Let's go. Hey, Husker fans, Kinetic now offers fast 99% reliable internet for just $39.99 a month for 12 months. Whether you're at home, school, or work, Kinetic Internet delivers the speed you need to stream, game, and stay connected with fellow Nebraska fans around the world. Only $39.99 a month for 12 months. And just like our teams in Scarlet and Cream, no one else even comes close. Check availability at windstream.com. Kinetic Internet, proud sponsor of Husker Athletics. Terms and conditions apply. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealers, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cooney with you here on a Monday night game week. With volleyball, big match at the stadium on Wednesday, football up in Minneapolis on Thursday night. That volleyball match, record-setting crowd expected for a sporting event to view a female sporting event in this country. It's been a dream that's 48 hours away from becoming a reality. It really is, and there's a lot to know before you come in and you know make your way into the stadium because while there are a lot of things that are the same as a typical Saturday, it's still on a Wednesday, so you're still battling a few of that and, and being able to to be park and, and get to the stadium. So there's a lot to know. There's a lot that's surrounding it, including a, the Adidas rally, TV if you can't make it in. There's so many things to know. And then just also, I think a lot of people were interested in how we even got to this point. How was it even built up to this point? So I had a chance to sit down with Brian, uh, Brandon Meyer, who's a senior associate AD for marketing and multimedia, Matt Davidson, the associate AD for event management and operations, and Lindsey Peterson, the volleyball director of operations. And I started just the, with a question to Lindsey about just, you know, as a, as a woman who played, in, played volleyball and, and played sports and athletics, what this means to this program. It's huge for this sport, but like you said, for women's athletics in general. And our motto within our program is dream big. And talk about dream big, you know, we're dreaming big to put this out, but 
what place would, did you think something like this could occur? And you're like, well, if it's going to happen, it could happen in the state of Nebraska. And, um, but I think it just it speaks to how much um, women's athletics across the board has grown, um, the visibility of the sports now, and the opportunity to put our sport on a big time stage like this is just incredible for our student athletes. Matt, let's talk about the layout of the event, of the event and the stage and all of that. How did you work through all of those details? So we, we had an initial plan uh, prior to tickets going on sale, and that plan obviously changed uh, after uh, the event sold out and ran in, what, 24 hours? Yeah, almost uh, 24 hours. So we were going to try to do a, a, a horseshoe set uh, with the South Stadium being empty. And obviously, uh, we had the ticket demand uh, to where the entire venue sold out. So that has changed our, uh, our, our layout to where the volleyball court's going to be going north-south. Uh, and it's going to be more positioned on the north side of the field uh, with a catwalk going down the spine of the field to the concert stage. So take me through the, you're building a stage, right? And the court's going to be on the stage, all of that, and how you came to that decision to do that. So, you know, player safety was, was uh, at the very top. And uh, meeting with the uh, athletic directors from the visiting teams, uh, the head coach representatives, obviously Lindsay, Coach Cook, uh, we talked through this. And uh, the idea was to bring uh, some stage and to put on top of the field decking to go 18 inches up to take care of the, the curvature of the field. And then uh, right before University of Nebraska's commencement, uh, we brought some of our TerraFlex court over and did a mock uh, setup. Uh, Lindsay brought some practice players over, and we, we quickly found out that we needed to reinforce the stage even more. Uh, so we have a plan for that. Uh, we have plenty of runoff space uh, from our court. Again, player safety. Uh, so that's, that's where those discussions uh, started. and. We certainly engaged our visiting team uh, uh, schools to to ensure them that that's that's top priority. Lindsay's coach Cook ready to coach from underneath, right? He's not going to be on the court with the team, right? The first time um, we've really played a bit match that the bench isn't right on the court, and he can't just walk from his seat out to talk to a player. So with the stage being um, raised up, the bench will be a little bit lower. We've had one experience with that. One time playing in Minnesota, we played in their basketball arena, and they have a raised floor. So we had that experience. So it's going to be a little bit of a different look for us and something to get used to, but having the opportunity to get on the court on Tuesday and experience that and try to work out some of those kinks and see what's the best that's going to help our coaches get the information they need to to our players. I think too we've been in lockstep with the Big Ten and the NCAA and really appreciate their uh, cooperation and partnership on even small things like uh, replay and and how that's going to work. Um, you know there's uh, not everything we will have in a normal volleyball game will be the exact same uh, in this. How long is the process going to take from start to finish once you start building this out? When will you start and how long will it take to get there? So we start this Thursday, uh, August 24th at 10 p.m. Uh, and we'll build uh, through the night. Uh, we're bringing in some decking to put over our turf to protect that. And uh, that build will continue uh, through the 29th, which is the practice day uh, for the teams to come in and, and practice on the court. And then teardown will uh, go through September 1st. So the game you mentioned is on a Wednesday, not a typical Saturday. So take us through what fans need to know if they're driving in, parking, all of that good stuff. Yeah, so parking is, is very important, and that's been uh, on our list from the start. Uh, campus has, has worked with us to have an instructional continuity day, uh, which means students will not uh, be in classes. Uh, that's certainly helped us out. Uh, we have a parking plan. We, uh, we've done a pre-sale. Uh, we have a, almost 6,000 stalls on campus that have already been pre-sold. Uh, this being on a Wednesday in the city, we realize that there's going to be uh, some capacity issues. So we have worked with a uh, bus provider. We'll have 40 buses that will be uh, giving free shuttle from satellite lots throughout the city. This will be in our uh, release coming up on details. Uh, we really want to encourage uh, fans to take advantage of this free bus service. And alcohol sales is happening on that day? Yeah, we, we partnered with Premier Catering on this, and uh, 
we will be providing alcohol, uh, very similar to what we did with Garth Brooks. Uh, we'll be wristbanding. Uh, we'll be ID checking everybody. There will be a two-drink limit. Uh, but, yeah, we, we expect for that to go well. Uh, we've had, we have extra uh, measures in place to uh, account for that. And tickets, make sure the, your app is updated, right? Correct. We, we have a new app, so make sure your app is updated. Uh, make sure you get your mobile tickets uh, downloaded and uh, into your wallet, and that will make sure that uh, you, know, you can have a quick entry uh, into the stadium that day. So when you get here, tell us about all the events and festivities that are going to be surrounding. It's not just a volleyball game anymore. Yeah, so there is a, uh, a rally at the Coliseum hosted by Adidas, which is going to be a really neat event. Um, the team will be over there around 1230. Uh, there'll be interactives for kids. There'll be uh, uh, you know, a chance to buy some volleyball day uh, for Nebraska apparel. Uh, and uh, it will be a real good chance to uh, uh, get a glass of water and uh, um, do some different uh, Adidas games over there before you come to the stadium. And then once you get to the stadium, uh, we've got a lot planned um, after the volleyball match, uh, a light show, a fireworks show, and some other uh, secrets planned there before we get to the Scotty McCreary concert. What was the reaction from uh, Scotty McCreary and his team when you tell them about, hey, you're going to be playing at a volleyball game, but it's a sold-out football stadium? You know, they have been awesome to work with. Um, they understand this isn't a normal uh, concert. Um, I don't know this, but I think this is probably the largest audience Scotty McCreary's ever played for. Um, so, you know, uh, they've wanted to do it first class um, from the beginning. They said, hey, this is going to be a great audience, an awesome event. Like, we want to put on a good show. What else do fans need to know, make note of before coming to the stadium uh, in a week? You know, I, I think just plan accordingly. Again, like Matt said, um, I think your easiest way in and out of the stadium are to be, or going to be to use the uh, aero buses. These are going to be nice motor coach buses with air conditioning. Um, so we really want to encourage fans to use those satellite lots. Um, those buses are going to be going uh, all day, um, and they're going to drop you off close to the stadium. Uh, again, a lot of the parking lots around the campus are already sold out. So if you come to, the, to Memorial Stadium kind of looking to park where you may normally park at a football game day, that may not be available. So uh, the easiest way to get in and out of Memorial Stadium uh, is going to be the buses. The athletic department has invested a lot of money uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of resources to, to, uh, to get those up and going and just want to encourage fans uh, to use those. And Husker Volleyball fans extend across the country. For, so for those that are not going to be able to be here in attendance in the stadium, is going to be on TV, right? Uh, going to have a big production here that day as well. It will be. It will be on um, BTN. And they're super excited to come in and be a part of this and um, give fans across the nation an opportunity to witness this incredible event. And they have a pregame show. Um, they're going to be interactive during the the match as well um, with our fans and, and just make it a, a really special event that not only focuses on the game itself but also what took place to get it to this point and why Nebraska fans is are, it's so special to be here. What's it been like working with the TV production crew getting this set up? You know the TV production crew is one of the main reasons we sort of flipped the court to go uh, north south instead of east and west um, kind of based on where they wanted camera positions and uh, how we could m move the goalpost down, uh, but BTN is is uh, investing a ton of resources to uh, do this. You know, on our initial call, um, they said, "Hey, this is more than just a volleyball match. Like this is an event, and here's why we want to place cameras in these locations, and we want to tell this uh, story." Um, and uh, you know, like every production they do, um, they're going to do an awesome job covering this. I know you guys have just put in so much time and effort into making this possible. So from, from when, it's, when it started to where it is now, I mean, how excited are you to be a part of this, to, to make this happen, to see it kind of all start to come to fruition? Uh, it's, a, it's extremely exciting. Uh, this is a, a, a very novel event uh, outside the box. And uh, I know my entire team and, and, and all of the uh, stakeholders that we've been working with are, are super excited for this. Uh, you know, Nebraska volleyball is absolutely gigantic in this state, 
in this country, and this just takes it up another notch. So it's, it's very exciting to be a part of it, to help stage it, to help work with all the different stakeholders on campus, internally, uh, within the city. Uh, so we're really excited about it. Yeah, our program is super excited, and um, I know our players are, are very grateful for all the efforts everybody's put in to make this happen, and, and I can't echo that enough. I mean, we're incredibly grateful for all the people that have invested time and energy and resources into making this a great event, and um, everything's, stars are starting to align, and um, yeah, each day as we get a little closer, get a little more butterflies in your stomach, but um, it's a lot of excitement, definitely. I am super excited. I wake up every day looking at the weather app, and um, it looks like we're going to have a beautiful night uh, for this event. Uh, I have a fourth grade uh, girl that loves Nebraska volleyball, um, and she's been talking to me every night about uh, this event and what it's going to be like. So uh, I can't wait for um, you know little girls just like mine all across Nebraska to come and experience this and see uh, you know that. Uh, uh, it's possible to sell out a football venue for a women's uh, athletic event. I should ask you, there is a backup plan in place. We're not even going to speak that into existence, but it, just in case, there is a backup plan that, that everybody's been working on in, in case we need to go to that. Yeah, our ticket office did a really good job of sort of ticketing the Devaney Center um, already, so those uh, folks that uh, already have those backup sort of tickets in their wallet, and yes, if we would need to cancel the event for some reason, um, I know the, the team really needs to get this game in uh, for their schedule, so we uh, do have a plan uh, to shift some things to Devaney, and uh, you know, we will communicate that um, you know, uh, through all of our channels uh, if we get to that point. We're kicking off a celebration of 100 years inside the stadium, and I'm not sure when they built the stadium you thought that this is where we'd be today, but how fitting is it that we're kicking things off? The first event is going to be a sellout crowd for a Nebraska volleyball game. I know we just finished this 100-year uh, book, and I I've gotten two emails already that said, um, how cool would it be to add this event to the end of the book? And I, and I agree. Like, uh, what an awesome way to kind of kick off this 100-year Memorial Stadi Stadium celebration. Uh, with this once in a lifetime uh, unique event. Wait, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was, just, I was saying to think even 20 years ago, the thought of selling out a, a football stadium um, for a volleyball event was not even imaginable. So the fact that we're to this point is incredible and speaks, I think, volumes to what the state of Nebraska has done for our athletic program. Can appreciate Brandon Meyer, Lindsey Peterson, Matt Davidson for uh, sharing all that knowledge with us. Huskers.com, if you have any, there's a tab, you should be able to find it easily. If you need information about parking, anything like that regarding getting here, and if, you know, we didn't answer all those questions, all of that is on Huskers.com. There's a lot to know and a lot to figure out before you head down here, but make sure you come to that rally, that Adidas rally at yeah. noon. The team's going to be out there, uh, you know, spending some time with the fans. That should be a fun, fun rally. I know it means a lot to Adidas, too. You know, you and I had this conversation about them when they sponsored Nicklin Hames a year ago and with the shoe. Mm -hmm. They've been really invested in women's sports, and so this means a lot to them, this event, and to be able to be a part of that. So they're going to have a big rally, and it should be, should be a lot of fun. Latest forecast, high of 87 winds, Abe, but not much mention of really high winds. That's kind of the key. It's going to be toasty for that 4 o'clock match, but by 7 o'clock, the entire court, most of the seats will be shaded by that point in time, so it should be fairly comfortable for you out there on that night. Folks, buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Got a couple of texts. We'll get to those next. Our planet, it's hungry. Blessed with millions of acres in this great nation, our farmers work tirelessly to feed the planet through seasons of uncertainty and seasons of growth. It's a tough business to do alone. As owners of Central Valley Ag, it's together that we move forward. There's room at the table. Find your seat at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. 
Emeritus. Insurance. Employee benefits. Financial services. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Kids eat free in September at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee to celebrate National Family Meals Month. That's right, get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under can choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, chicken tenders, and more. Bring the family together. Dine in at Wahlburgers at Hy-Vee and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day in September. Dine in only, some restrictions apply. See store for details. There's a new kind of season ticket when you fly from the Lincoln Airport, the official airport of the Huskers. Now at LNK, choose from fast, affordable, non-stop flights to your favorite vacation spots. All from an airport that's relaxed and hassle-free. It's never been easier to get off the bench and enjoy an adventure with the whole family. Visit GoFlyLNK.com and book your trip today. Let's go. If unwanted hair is putting you in a prickly situation, give Laser Hair Removal a try. Milan Laser Hair Removal delivers smooth, hair-free skin with permanent results for men and women of all skin tones. So there's no more unwanted stubble, razor burn, or ingrown hairs. Visit any of Milan Laser's seven Nebraska locations to get one free treatment. Ready to never shave again? Call 833-NO-RAZOR or visit MilanLaser.com to book your free treatment and consultation. That's MilanLaser.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyset Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months plus up to 37.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Okay, man, huddle up. Look, we're playing one of the best football teams in the country today, and quite frankly, we don't have a chance against these guys. Let's face it, we're going to get slaughtered out there. But the good news is that the Nebraska Lottery has scratch and lotto prizes that any one of us could win. Yeah! After the game, we're taking the team bus to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer to see if we can win big. Let's go! So let's get out there and lose with pride. The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skecher shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Meet 
water's bubblier and more energetic best friend. Bubbler Antioxidant Sparkling Water. With tons of flavors, there's one for every occasion. Interviewing for your dream job, hitting the beach, or going on an epic road trip? Pop the top on your favorite bubbler flavor and awesome antioxidant swoop in to balance your body and focus your mind. Right before a boost of natural caffeine shows up to save your day. There's a benefit in every bubble and a happier you just waiting to rise up. Find out more at Drink Bubbler on Instagram. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cooney with you Monday night. A couple of texts. Andy and Phoenix. Greg, Jessica, do you have a player comp for Alex Bullock, a wide receiver? Is he a Jordan Westerkamp style of wide receiver? My goodness, you, you just mentioned one of the better wide receivers in the last 20 years in Nebraska, uh, but I think you're probably thinking more of a really good route runner. I guess I need to see more of him, and I need to see him doing it in games, not just on the practice. Field. Yeah, same. I don't know if he's a, a burner type. He's a little bit bigger than, you know, say like a Trey Palmer, but so he's a, a little bit, I think maybe he could be a, a little bit bigger body, bigger target to throw it to. He's seems to have really steady hands and, and can catch some pretty, pretty, some throws that if the quarterback puts it in the right spot that, you know, only he could get, that uh, he, you can rely on him to, to pull it down. And then, like we've heard and time and time again, how great of a route runner he is. So I think he's just going to be a solid, consistent kind of guy. We'll see how big of an impact, you know, he makes out of the gate. But like right. you said, I mean, we, we got to see it on, on game. All of them. Like, I, I mean, even Billy Kemp, I know we've heard rave reviews about him, but... I need to see all the wide receivers. Right. So I could see maybe a Levi Falk type guy from Alex, a uh, good route runner, good hands. I, I'm not quite sure where he is athletically. I just don't know until what about I see. Oliver him. Martin. I don't think he's as good an athlete as Oliver. Yeah, Martin was and really Oliver fast. was fast. He was really real fast. fast. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, Jim and Columbus. I can't remember the last time Nebraska was highlighted this much as far as sporting events within two days of each other. The volleyball game with a record crowd. Then on Thursday Night Football, which is pretty much out of the box. Proud of everyone involved in putting the volleyball matches together. Proud to be a Nebraskan. Can't wait for Wednesday and Thursday. Go Big Red. You talk about an unbelievable amount of publicity for this school, for this athletic department, for this week. I mean, nobody in the country is getting this kind of play with the two sports combined. You're talking about how many meetings have we been in hearing about kind of some of the who's who that are flying in to be here in attendance the amount of TV efforts that are being put to this, the Adidas, all of the different people that are being involved, and then the eyeballs that are going to be on this just on Wednesday night. But then, oh, by the way, you throw in a primetime Thursday night to kick off the season yet again. The ratings are going to be through the roof. So back-to-back -back nights with a lot of eyeballs paying really close attention to Nebraska athletics. Yeah. All right. We got weekend winners. We'll do that next. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to $37.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Achoo. Allergy season is officially here. Your home should be a place where you can escape dust, pollen, and other allergens. But every time you enter your home, you bring them inside. John Henry's offers numerous products to remove allergens and germs from your home. Call John Henry's today to learn more about our indoor air quality products to breathe easier in your home. John Henry's plumbing. Hi, this is Jim Baldonado with The Home Agency. Just like our support and enthusiasm for Husker Athletics, our multi-line insurance agencies are ready and eager to help you with your insurance needs. Don't wait for disaster to test your insurance coverage. Get ahead of the game and let our agents provide you with the peace of mind knowing that your needs will be met. For more information, call home, the home agency, that is, at 1-800-245-4241. That's 1-800-245-4241. Go Big Red. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. 
From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the trail taming forerunner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Woodhouse Auto Families, your trusted auto partner with 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Final segment of our Monday show. We always save this little segment to name our weekend winners, and Jake gets first crack at it. Jake, what's on your mind? Yeah, it was a tough one for me because I think this weekend had a lot of great things going on in the world of sports and other things. I thought about picking uh, Keisei Tominaga leading Japan to that big win over Finland, but I don't know how much you guys tuned in or followed along with high school football on Friday, but Lincoln North Star uh, absolutely dominated their opponent. They won 93 to nothing wow. in their first game of the season. They broke the Class A single-game scoring record of 85 uh, just a huge performance from them. They are Benson's the high school. They only had 25 players in a Class A game. That's really tough. They've had a hard time with that program. And Tommy Armstrong is going to do some of our big red reactions as an assistant coach at North Star. Good for them. That was kind of sad to see a team get beat beat that bad. All right, what do you have? I was going to go with Victor Hovland winning 18 mil over the weekend, that? but I'm going to go with Husker Soccer. Two wins in Washington. They scored nine goals in two days. They're off to a great start to the season. Eleanor Dale played great. I yep. told I was told some people today, she should get Player of the Week honors in the league. She had a great trip out west. They had a good trip. They won big both those matches out of the West Coast in the state of um, where they played Washington. Eastern Washington and Gonzaga. Mm -hmm. So a good start for them. They've got a home match. You know what it is? Thursday night at seven. What? Yeah, that's I don't like that. It's Missouri. It's a pretty good matchup. Same time as the football kickoff time. But I still hope people get out there and support them. They're off to a really good start. Then Sunday right. on the road. My my honorable mentions, Harper Murray. How can you not? Uh, freshman of the week in the Big Ten. But I'm going Lewis Lappy. Know who that is? Nope. Lewis won the Little League World Series with a walk-off home run for California. They beat Caraco in the championship game yesterday. What an exciting moment for that young man. Lewis nice. Lappy. Nice. Lewis Lappy. I did Pretty not cool. think... Come in here thinking you're going to pick Lewis Lappy, How about but that? I like See, it. See, I had, to, but I got to go dig deep because I'm always <laughs> going third in the batting order for this thing. Jake, great job with us here tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, our football coaches show hour one. Running backs coach EJ Barthel will be here. Hour two, we'll have a practice report. Matt Rural will address the media tomorrow. Final time that he'll talk to the media before kickoff on Thursday night. So have a have yourself a great night. Be safe. Talk to you again tomorrow. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Oh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling his favorite Luxair dealer. Trusted since 1950, with Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. Dear roads, trails, and rivers. 
You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 1-800-1890-1890. 